Okay, YouTubers, here's a uh, an update on the failed uh, pivot pin on the uh, Harbor Freight trencher. As you can see, I have it removed again. I received this in the mail from Harbor Freight, basically saying that they'll no longer supply that part. They never did in the first place, but. I said I'd give them a try. I waited 14 weeks, and this is a reply back I got. So before the spring comes and I have to use a piece of equipment, I had to get back to work. So here's what we have. Here's the, here's the way it looks. Uh, this is the, um, the old pin. And uh, what I did is I had to cut it because what they do is they weld the ends here. That's uh, this part here. Let me see if I can find There we go. So they weld this at the end. Okay. So the other thing is, is that this is not actually a solid pin going across here. What they did is they put a spacer in here like this to make you think that it's beefier than it is. This is only a piece of one inch uh, cold rolled steel. Probably not even cold rolled, probably hot rolled steel. But, uh, and they put the sleeve over it to make it look a little more beefy. And they put that in between the two uh, bushings that they have. And here's one of the bushings. This is one of the bushings that was uh, the bad one. I don't know if I can get a light in here. See if you can see the galling inside of there. There you go. That's from no lubrication. And they had all kinds of grindings uh, in there too from apparently when they put it together. They never even cleaned it before they assembled it. Uh, so there was all kinds of junk inside there. So that really attributed to uh, premature wear. So I've got all the measurements. Um, because I have some friends that are charter steel, uh, I already have my, my new pin. And this is a, a real piece of steel, American-made steel. And uh, what I decided to do is make this all one piece, uh, except for the bushings uh, that will be on each end. So it's heavy duty all the way through. So that's, that's how I'm going to uh, make it. And uh, I'll get back with you after it's made, but I just wanted to give you an update um, of Harbor Freight's uh, inability to uh, uh, come up with uh, parts uh, for any of their equipment. So, just so you know, um, I think their parts department is one guy sitting in a little uh, uh, used bathroom at the back of the building. And uh, that's where they dispatch all their uh, requests. They go right down the toilet. So there you have it. Uh, but I'll get on this right away. I'll have this made up here probably by the end of today. And I'll, I'll try to make a, uh, another uh, video. But what I plan to do is I'll uh, also do all the measurements, how I put it together. And uh, I'll post that too with the uh, information on this. Just so in case you have a failure, um, you can get this made up pretty quick. It is really prone to failure, just so you know. I don't care how much you grease this thing. It's really under a lot of pressure because it's, it was really designed uh, with failure in mind. So just so you know that. Uh, so be prepared. Keep checking it, greasing it, do whatever you got to do because you'll never get parts from them. You'll have to do it yourself. So... I plan to do it myself. I got all the equipment to make it. Not going to play around anymore. Thought I'd give him a shot, but it's February. This machine's going to go out the door uh, by uh, April 1st. So, all right, we'll talk to you later. I hope uh, that you guys uh, heed this notice and keep a real good close on that uh, eye on that pivot pin. Because uh, if you damage the, uh, the uh, actual uh, body of the... Uh, uh, of the machine, if you damage these parts up in here, um, it's just going to make it a real, real bitch to get that thing um, functioning again properly. You're going to have to mill it out and uh, or bore it out, and then put bushings in there, and you don't want to do that. So, 
before that happens, stay up with it, do your maintenance. If you have to build one, let's build it a little bit beefier so it lasts. Okay, talk to you guys later when I get the next part finished.